In this day and age of technology and viral social media, we have witnessed the faming of each and everything, probably everything and anything was has been defamed. It might be a person, it might be a, a, a brand, a diet or even a simple ingredient. Not too long ago, there was a spice which had gotten very bad reputation about um, being artery clogging or it was supposed to, uh, it was, uh, it used to increase the cholesterol and uh, it was, uh, it also contributed to the heart problem. And this was just about its um, its problems for the health, but the 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 spice itself was very confusing. Sometimes it it came uh, in a in a big uh, circular green uh, raw form with a lot of water, or sometimes it came uh, uh, came uh, looked like a brown uh, covering hard shell uh, with a little water and some kind of uh, sweet meat in it. Um, and then sometimes you can see the, it in grocery stores in powder form or uh, in uh, shredded form. And uh, this, it, this spice um, actually confused people a lot and it also uh, made a lot of headlines. So what spice are we talking about? Today's spice is very, very, very uh, different, but it came out very better, bolder, and it made headlines like I told you. So welcome to our spice series it's week 49 and we are going to see three amazing health benefits of this saturated fat uh, which actually helps you burn calories now this might be very confusing but yes we are talking about coconut and welcome to sona motivates we motivate you to eat healthy be happy and enjoy every moment so we are talking about today's spice and it is nothing but coconut so this is one of the form and there are so many different forms available in supermarket and i'm going to talk about all of those we are going to explore them together and most of them i have them with me right now so you can also see them in a picture form uh, so let's keep exploring now even with this lot of research and lot of um, confusing stories uh, available it still uh, threatens and uh, it's kind of very intimidating to learn about coconut and um, just now I told you right it's the uh, it sometimes it's a green big bulk and I, I was not able to find one uh, but it came it comes in a raw form or it comes in the powder form so um, uh, we are going to explore everything together today you know all types of forms uh, how you can use them in your kitchen and also so we are going to see the health benefits so stay tuned till the end this video today might be a little longer so please uh, make sure you watch it uh, till the end maybe in the break but if not please make sure you read the blog and get all the details about the uh, coconut because I enjoyed writing it and I'm so excited to excited to share about coconut with you guys today Okay, so now what is special about uh, coconut? So coconut comes from a coconut palm tree. Uh, it is a product of uh, the palm tree and uh, it, it grows actually all subtropical and tropical areas all around the world and of course being in florida we have coconut all the time and we enjoy the coconut water many 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 times and it's uh, delicious it's enough sweet and it is very very nutritional now uh, it is and this is just about coconut water but coconut in general the whole fruit is very nutritious um, it is loaded with dietary fiber it has a lot of vitamins and minerals and it has also healthy fats now there is uh, you must have heard about coconut and there is this uh, uh, belief that coconut is very fatty and it might cause uh, your arteries to block or it might be not health healthful uh, so make sure you have to know about that yes coconut has 80 percent of fat and 76 percent of the uh, fat or uh, coconut fat uh, is actually saturated fat now what we have heard from the research right now is that saturated fat is not a good fat especially that which comes from the animal products right because it's the it's the culprit that actually clogs the arteries and that that is the uh, that uh, is the reason they causes the heart problems or heart uh, heart attack so now 
how come the uh, how come our coconut becomes healthy and how come the saturated fat from the coconut is a healthier version so that i'm going to keep a little secret for a little while because we are going to discuss it about uh, in our weight loss health benefit but for now we will just move on with our types of uh, how in which forms coconut is available in our uh, grocery stores or in supermarkets so let's explore coconut together now the first and the most important part and you must have heard it about uh, all the time and especially it made uh, such a huge comeback with coconut water as uh, you uh, if you are not uh, living in tropical regions probably you must have seen the uh, coconut water in the uh, carton form you know but uh, uh, that is okay of course it tastes good but it still has some of the chemicals and all that stuff but if you have um, experienced drinking the real fresh coconut water from the um, from the the raw and the uh, cool the coconut itself it's it's different it's definitely very very different it's a very very um it has a sweet and very very fresh uh, uh, taste and uh, it doesn't have much aroma it's just like a water and this is how it looks like so I have taken a coconut water uh, from this coconut which we have actually just now uh, broken <laughs> so this this is how it looks like it's just like water and I don't know I don't want to spill it but this is how it will look it's a little bit of a, uh, maybe you, you can say murky because of the uh, content of these uh, mm, uh, coconut meat in it now this uh, coconut water is very energizing um, it's smiley sweet uh, now it is source of electrolytes and uh, minerals and um, and enzymes and it helps you actually in any kind of uh, if you have diabetes any digestive issues uh, then it helps you you know have this um, energy back and also it increases the immunity it is very common practice back home in India that if somebody is sick uh, and if we were supposed to go and visit them in hospital or at home we used to take coconuts uh, with the, us and especially if not coconut you know a whole maybe the coconut water we'll ask the local vendor who will whoever uh, has that all kinds of all kinds of uh, uh, you can say all kinds of gears he had that he can cut those and then he'll give us the coconut water in the bottle or in plastic bag and then we used to take it so this was a very common practice back home to take coconut water and also um, they used to pamper the pregnant ladies you know when in the first trimester when they're throwing up had the morning uh, sickness and nausea and vomiting at that time they were you know, pampered with the coconut water every day the fresh coconut and it helped her you know get the get the immunity back get the boost her immune system and also feel a little better because it has all natural electrolytes so this was about the coconut water so if you have the coconut water accessible in your local uh, stores even in carton form you know make sure you choose the uh, the one with the very very less uh, um, chemicals and please go ahead and have coconut water it's very healthy uh, and it's very nutritious so that was about coconut water now how can you use it how can you use uh, or drink uh, just drink it as it is because like i told you it's sweet uh, but you can also make a detox water with it so just uh, take this coconut water you can mix with the same quantity of plain regular water then add uh, berries in it then add uh, maybe uh, orange wedges with peels in it and then refrigerate it and the next day you can sip it so this is a great uh, idea uh, or um, this is a great way of consuming consuming the coconut water now we will move on to coconut milk now many of us have uh, tried Thai food and Thai food have a uh, um, good use of coconut milk now how is coconut milk made how how do we get it so one way is you you actually this is how this is the this is the meat I'm talking about you grate it and then you extract the milk through it by you know squeezing it nicely and you get the coconut milk so this is one way that for, uh, to extract it from the fresh one but if you have it in the dried form or if you have, don't have that uh, you know the coconut may, might not yield that much of milk that time you, what you can do is uh, pour warm water over the shredded coconut and then let it uh, stand for a couple of minutes and then squeeze it so you will get more yield of this coconut water uh, milk okay so this is one kind of the, this is another uh, way you can make your own coconut milk 
now if you don't want to there is there are so many you know supermarkets there are so many companies there uh, they are making coconut milk these days so we have those in carton form in uh, canned form so you can always go ahead and use it but make sure you check out the ingredient list and make uh, choose always choose which has a less chemicals in it okay so this was how you can make a coconut milk but then how can you use it definitely you can use it in smoothies uh, you can make it in uh, use it in sauces or curries and uh, I, I haven't tried it but I'm going to it's about how you can make hot cocoa with the coconut milk uh, so just use uh, the cocoa powder or the cocoa beans and then you can pour, make a hot cocoa by stirring a cinnamon stick in it so that is one of the way now coconut cream is it it is pretty much the same like a milk cream so just uh, this uh, very very thick form of the layer which uh, which actually uh, floats on the coconut milk then the 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 layer the thick layer the more creamier and richer texture one that's the coconut cream and you get uh, you can get coconut cream in in the uh, tin form in the can form as well so you can use it also now we used it uh, one time in our uh, cooking class and we were doing our royal cooking class it is about we are making this royal uh, indian dishes which are very you know which had a lot of fat and they were very um, very health of course healthy but uh, they were very rich uh, in their um, in their cooking so uh, we made those with this our coconut cream and uh, we used it to garnish the uh, the uh, dishes at the end but you can also add them a very little if you uh, end up adding coconut milk then you might need it maybe half um, half a cup but if you are using coconut cream then just go ahead and uh, put may maybe just one uh, one tablespoon so you can always mix and match and use it that way so the, the, that's when we use it so you can use in the same way or what you can do is make curries or sauces and uh, you will see the different creamier and more uh, uh, help more volumized and more um uh, you can say solidified uh, version of the uh, of the dish and uh, it is super tasty because it is of course cream uh used sparingly because it is also very high in fat like all the, everything about coconut is now um i don't have coconut cream here but again you can get it in carton or in the uh, canned form now we will move to coconut oil now what is so special about coconut oil and it has also made huge headlines and it is very very popular these days as because um it is uh, uh, it is it has helped a lot of people and with so many things going on with soybeans and this uh, gmo and the vegetable oil a lot of people are switching over to uh, coconut oil yes it is healthy but again uh, we will talk about it at the end of this video that uh, you have to no matter how healthy stuff is make sure you use it sparingly you know not in everything and everywhere now coconut oil as the name suggests it is um, extracted from coconut and um, uh, you just uh, basically it's squeezed and uh, the it's pressed to the level or uh, the coconut powder or the coconut in general that uh, you get the oil from it um, the coconut meat is pressed okay and uh, coconut oil this is how it looks like uh, so okay now you can see it's solid in the uh, in the um, in at room temperature here uh, but uh, below below 78 actually th this is how it, it is always in solidified uh, form texture because it has saturated fat and um, it melts up at around 78 to 80 degrees starts Fahrenheit it starts melting now how can you use coconut oil you can use it for sauteing making sauces or baking um, it is very commonly used as a carrier oil if you have watched our previous videos or if you have attended uh, our Facebook live series previously you must have heard coconut oil often when we are talking about sesame oil or mustard oil or almond oil or any kind of oil when you have to use maybe black seed oil then the, you need a carrier oil with it and it's always uh, this coconut oil so it is used for uh, um, for its health benefits as oil itself or um, it is 
great for scalp it's great for hair growth uh, and i have my own recipe for hair uh, hair oil which i make with coconut oil and i add bunch of spices to it and that's that's the reason i have this hair but uh, yes uh, this helps it helps to grow uh, it helps uh, the fuller scalp uh, scalp and it also helps the texture of your hair because these days it's uh, because of pollution and using of um, the uh, heated products we have to take care, good care of our hair um, hair and the scalp okay so this is about the coconut oil also about the skin you can use it as a natural moisturizer so back home we actually use it for massaging little babies um, you know newborn babies they are massaged with this uh, coconut oil so it is very commonly used uh, as a natural moisturizer uh, or for massaging and also for uh, any kind of pain like earache or nose bleed it's very common that we warm uh, this coconut oil a little, little bit and then this warm very very slightly warmed uh, coconut oil is uh, put in maybe the ear or even in nose with the help of the cotton ball and the coconut oil is very very uh, commonly used in any kind of health issue any kind of this um, you know as a home remedy back home in India <laughs> okay so this was about coconut oil and you can use as much as it can be but when you are cooking with it make sure you use sparingly and uh, try and use other oils like avocado oil or uh, olive oil and mix and match the oils okay and now we are going to go to the fresh coconut and this is how it looks like now this is the fresh coconut uh, this this was the whole okay this is how it looked then we broke it then we got the water from it and this this is the white meat we are talking about now i'm going to grate this so this grated will be our uh, fresh coconut and we also get in the in the shredded form this is how you, it looks like so you can either grate yourself or you can get in uh, the grated one in the in the ethnic stores in the frozen aisle so this is the uh, the shredded one and now uh, it is how can you use it okay um, it is excellent for garnishings any kind of dishes it looks just royal and it gives such a nice uh, uh, garnishing uh, texture and it looks very very royal and nice and it tastes good too so you, you can definitely use it to garnish um, any anything maybe meat or fish stews or curries and just sprinkle it or oh, just take this a little bit and sprinkle it you can bake with it uh, you can add in baking or um, you, you can add uh, as a garnish to the hot chocolate you can make desserts with it we have many dessert recipes with the coconut uh, we make one kind of um, we call it burfi and we add a sugar and uh, this coconut uh, and you have to saute it till it solidifies and oh my god it tastes so divine so that is one of the recipe and we also make chutney with this uh, this uh, uh, fresh coconut so you add um, uh, coconut this coconut then maybe thai chili the green chili ginger garlic cilantro salt lemon juice uh, in blender and there are so many different versions of the same chutney and uh, it is uh, eaten with dosa or um, uh, with idli and if you have eaten or have ever tasted the south indian food that you must have known the uh, this chutney but if not please leave me a comment and i'll make sure that the recipe will be there for you now about the dry coconut and this is how it looks like okay i had very less left at home because i keep using it <laughs> so okay you might see it's not fresh white and it's a little bit of pinkish because uh, it's a very common practice for us that we um, roast it before storing so that's why it is looking like this it also gets the the dry one you get it in the halves you know dried halves or or you can get it uh, in many different but maybe this kind of uh, sli slices then in powder form in grated form and in just just maybe in pieces so dried coconut we get in all kinds of form in the in the grocery in the ethnic stores but um, uh, it's just a dehydrator or, or dried form of the of the fresh coconut 
Now, how can you use it? Again, in the same way, you can make it, uh, use it in curries in, uh, uh, and then you can make your own spice mixes or rubs with this dried coconut. Uh, so we have many ethnic recipes of our spice mixes. One is for specially for one kind of rice. Uh, one is for making a one kind of, um, you know, uh, spice mix we call goda masala, which I had uh, mentioned a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about the other spices. So and even the rubs, you know, meat rubs, or even for the any kind of uh, even fish uh, fish marinades you can use the uh, this coconut so uh, there are many many recipes with these dried coconut now it can also be used as a form of garnish like we just saw like the fresh one you can always use this and this um, the fresh one you have to use it uh, in certain time because it has water content in it and it, sometimes it's uh, get spoiled soon so with the dried one it, it, it's always there it's always it can be handy if uh, you store it properly so we always have this in hand and we always use uh, dried one or prefer dried one more now uh, in the uh, grocery stores you must have seen in sweetened and unsweetened form uh, and uh, in the shredded form you know the, and uh, mostly in uh, in america i have seen people using it for baking uh, and in desserts so if you want to skip it then you can uh, you can skip it all together because uh, uh, it's already so fatty I don't think it's a good idea to add more sugar to it so make sweetened uh, coconut but if you want to use it use it very uh, sparingly use it very less okay uh, so this was about uh, uh, about coconut forms now there are two very popular forms which recently have come in picture and one of them is coconut coconut flour and you must have um, experienced that you you must have seen coconut flour or the gluten free uh, maybe tortillas or wraps or uh, the gluten free mixes and which has coconut flour or even uh, gluten free desserts and stuff like that so they all have coconut flour now what exactly is coconut flour so it's nothing Thing but this dried coconut meat it is powdered more and then uh, it becomes very very soft and uh, it's very uh, it, you can roll it so that's how it is used so it's pretty much like it's just the coconut so no wonder because it's just a coconut it is gluten free it has less carbs and also um, uh, it is uh, very pliable as well people can use it for baking uh, so this is what uh, uh, it is about and it is of course high in fiber because coconut is high in fiber but again with every every of these um, these types and forms i have been explaining i still want to keep adding that make sure you use all coconut because it's in so many forms you have to make sure you use sparingly why we will, we will see okay now coconut sugar what exactly is coconut sugar again coconut sugar has made such a huge headline that it is the healthiest sugar and this keeps happening you know uh, there is always some problem with people suffering uh, from these uh, you know diabetes or some kind of um, uh, trying to curb their sweet tooth at that time then some kind of sugar so a couple of years back it was honey then the agave nectar now coconut sugar so some of the other form of sweetener keeps coming Anyway, let's see what coconut sugar is first, then we will see. Now, coconut sugar is a natural sugar made from coconut sap. Now, what is sap? It is actually a sugar circulating fluid uh, from coconut flour. So, they cut the flour and then they take this sap um, in a container and then uh, the, the sap, the, 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 the liquid, it's boiled um, and dehydrated to the level where we get this granulated and brownish colored um, yeah, sugar. And this is nothing but the coconut sugar. Now, it is very um it's very uh, it's definitely it has a couple of um small amounts of vitamins minerals antioxidants amino acids and fibers it's very it's healthier than the white sugar uh, it is also diabetic friendly because um it uh, it helps um it is it won't uh, it is slightly lower rise of it helps to lower rise of blood sugar it won't let the your blood sugar spike so that's why it is di diabetic friendly and it is better than regular sugar but does it mean that you can go very um, you know high on using coconut sugar because it is healthy no again it is the sugar so you have to still be very very cautious before using it so you can definitely use it as a substitute but be careful by using it so coconut sugar is a good 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 substitute uh, for the uh, table white table sugar
okay so this was about the coconut sugar so we have seen pr practically all of its form so right from the water the sweet meat the, the fresh one the dried one the coconut oil uh, the the dry one and i think i covered all and the flour and also the sugar so all of these were uh, this is how the coconut is available and then how come coconut is healthy uh, it has all vitamins minerals it has it is very rich in dietary fiber it's low in carbs but it is high in fats but still we have to remember that it is high even if it is high in saturated fat it's a good kind of fat so this was all about coconut and i think today i tried to uh, you know, to uh, get everything uh, in this small, in this video and in this vlog, it was a huge challenge. Sometimes I don't even have much information about the spice and we are trying to, you know, find a lot of information. With coconut, we have to really be very, very discreet and try to, uh, to uh, maybe, you know, make it very, very compressed uh, for you guys to understand it. So, please make sure you leave a comment because i i really would like to know how did you like today's video what did you feel about this information uh, i we tried to provide to you uh, read our blog if you like uh, anything from this video make sure you share you comment let us know what you liked about this blog or what was uh, the controversial uh, part you felt about our our uh, today's video so thank you very much for watching this today right now on facebook live thank you very much for watching this later uh, uh, in the on the youtube channel and please keep posting keep asking what you would like us to start working on because we are super excited to bring our next series uh, because just three more spices today was 49 50th 51st and 52nd three more to go and then we will stop our spice series but it was always a pleasure to meet you every tuesday with the new spice and today was the coconut thank you very much chroma thank you those who have always joined us uh, thank you very much nisha i'm glad you like this information keep in touch keep asking questions and uh, uh, see you next week with a new spice